guys, so today's video is going to be a hamster cage tour. You guys really seem to enjoy my hamster cage tour, so I decided to do another one, and this one is actually winter themed. If you didn't know, I own a long-haired Syrian hamster named Charlie. It's a girl and she lives in the IKEA DTOF, which is what you're looking at right now. The DTOF is basically a storage unit from IKEA that if you install a certain way it becomes a really cool aquarium styled cage and the lid that I use is just some wire shelving from home hardware. On the outside of her cage I just have this Peace Love Esther um, little sticker and if you don't know who Esther the Wonder Pig is you should definitely check her out. Um, the website is right there but she also has Facebook, Instagram, um, those are the two that I follow anyways and she's a really really amazing pig with an amazing story. The couple that owns her now actually have a sanctuary in Ontario um, that I hope to visit one day. It's a really great cause. They promote a compassionate vegan lifestyle. So I'll leave all the links down below so you can check them out. So this is what the lid looks like close up. So taped onto the back of the cage, I have a few little snowflake cutouts. Had a lot of fun making these, actually. I haven't done it in a few years, so that's what they look like. And it looks like somebody has actually gotten up to join us. Here's Charlie. Hi, Charlie. She's just picking out on the new food that I put in right now. So we'll start on the left side. Over here I just have a popsicle stick platform with one of these little corny the owls. Some of the guinea pigs didn't like these chews so I decided to give one to Charlie and she likes to actually knock him off this platform all the time. Then we also have a little igloo sticking to the winter theme. We also have a little PVC pipe tunnel. Um, we have Charlie's little food dish, that's heart, and her water dish as well. The bedding that I'm using is just some blue Carefresh with some white Carefresh to add the effect of snow. Over here we just have her purple comfort wheel, but I just added some white to kind of make it match the rest of the cage. And this is just white inkless uh, paper, so it's alright if she chews it. Um, there is a little bit of tape, so I was going to remove it if she did ever chew it, but she hasn't chewed it, so I don't think I have to worry about that. She looks so sleepy right now. As for chews, we just have this little sisal uh, toy. We also have a little broomstick and a pine cone. Beside the wheel is another little white igloo, and I actually covered it with the same white inkless paper, but this time I just used some of these binder clips. We also have a willow or tea tree wreath, and some of these little snowballs. Um, I made some with uh, like toilet paper and some with just the white paper. It just has a little bit of her food inside of it and it kind of looks like snowballs. Next we have just this little, I hate to call it this, but like a goldfish bowl. Goldfish shouldn't live in bowls, but um, that's kind of what it is. And it's just filled with some shredded toilet paper. Next we have this little ladder, another snowball, and Charlie's little castle area. Um, we have two little bendy bridges that are kind of bent to look like a fence. And then we have a deeper layer of some Carefresh bedding, which is good for burrowing, and Charlie's little castle. This castle is just made from natural pine wood, so it's perfectly fine if she decides to chew it. I got it from Michael's, and I just stuffed a little bit of some shredded toilet paper in the little uh, section right there, and she pulls it out and actually makes a nest inside of there. So Charlie is still pigging out, but that is basically what her cage looks like for this month. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing it. I had a lot of fun decorating it. Um, I was inspired by the blue Carefresh I bought to make it all winter themed, and I think it looks pretty good actually. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!